This week came with many surprises. The first one was I had a back injury from exercising, and I was laid up in bed for three days and had a very slow, gradual recovery. And so, this is finally me being able to sit and plant my little starts into bigger pots because I hadn't been able to do anything with my plants for a while. The kids were helping me and they had lots of fun and we had put dill and poppies and tomatoes and cucumbers and pumpkins all into the different containers that we had set up. And yes, that right there in the bottom corner you can see the celery that I'm trying to grow from the cutoff stalks. So we planted a bunch more seeds after we had transplanted the first ones. I have so many seeds still yet to go into the garden, but it's slowly coming along and I'm pretty happy with how it's going. Here I am planting some sunflower seeds. I chose to do a very economical and easy way of planting honestly is we got some good organic potting soil and I put it into egg cartons and voila we plant seeds and wait for them to grow and once they get big and strong we transplant them into plastic cups like here and let them get big and strong until we can put them out into the garden. This week we also started breaking ground on the garden, which once again I was only able to film because my back hurt so bad. Graham, yeah. where'd your pants go? I don't know. I'm walking in here. But everyone else was happy to help, even Graham, even though he didn't have any pants on. <laughs> the plan is to make it a lovely herbal border garden, full of things like dill and lavender and basil. So it just makes a really nice looking front of our garden. The first plants that went into this border garden was lavender, but it ended up being way too wet and soggy for it, so we had to dig it up and move it out later. And of course, well, there's always room for a nice animal break. This lovely horse, she's kind of old, really likes to come for pets and carrots and a little bit of hay. She's absolutely a darling. The kids help Naaman stake out the garden bed so we can have a visual on how it's going to look and also once we start putting plants inside, I didn't want the kids trampling over them so it'll give them an idea of where not to walk. This is our little blueberry bush that is finally showing buds and I'm very excited. Hopefully it'll be laden with blueberries this summer. Apparently Naaman was hammering so hard that he broke this off. There's this, the stick, the handle part of the mallet. <laughs> Here's the mallet. Thank you for your enthusiasm Naaman. Naaman is putting together a flower bed. Oops. This is going to be a flower bed. Next one's going to be a flower bed. There's going to be probably two more flower beds here. That's what we're starting with. 
we have our raspberries already in. And last but not least, this week we had two large birds of prey visit us in the field behind our house. One was a bald eagle, which was amazing. And then afterwards was this turkey vulture that probably came in to pick off whatever the eagle had left. Either way, what a cool way to end this week. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to keep up to date with our garden. And we'll see you next week.